First of all, this is special to me tonight because they took Comedy Central off my cable on February 1st. <laughs> so my sister calls and mocks me at 11 every night. Just thought I'd throw that out. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I paid my bill and everything. My question is, what kind of reaction do you guys have when one of the stories that you have done as a satire is actually picked up on regular news? For instance, you did a piece on the mayor who banished Satan out of their town in Florida. That got picked up about three weeks later on network news and actually on the internet. We're cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> we we the ride the crest of the news. I, I give credit to our research department for that, you know, for you know, seeing that come out and thinking that it's an interesting story. For those of, I, I don't know if they played it. Um, Not that one. Well, thanks. Um, <laughs> what, for those of you who don't know the, what the story was, it was a mayor in central Florida who had a, a proclamation put into effect that essentially she was banning Satan from the town. And this was one of those fish in a barrel people that really didn't know who we were. And so I was able to get away with things like, okay, imagine I'm Satan. And I'm trying to get into your town. And she had absolutely no idea. Um, but she was actually, she was in the midst of a lot of interviews. So we just beat them to the punch because our edit, we probably have a, a quicker turnaround time in terms of editing. So there were a lot of other media outlets there uh, during that week. So we were just one in a, a line. So I think we just beat them to the punch. They were that good. <laughs> media is a beast. I mean, you probably all know that it's, it, the media now requires the caloric intake that it's never required before. That's why, no matter what story you see, I mean, it, it, in terms of the exploitation of, of even tragedy, for instance, this Danielle uh, Van Damme case, if you look on their lawn, there are, it looks like a tent city of reporters. I don't know what insight they think they're going to glean from these people's grief, but I, if, if there's ever a situation where someone who's just lost their daughter has something to say other than this sucks, I'd be happy to see a news crew on their lawn. But until then, why are these people there? And that's, unfortunately, there's just a beast. It's just a beast. And the beast... They just, they just, it just needs to be fed without any idea of why it's feeding itself, unfortunately. And, and we're there to help. <laughs>